We know that ADHD is highly genetic. 75, 80% of the cause is genetic. So you didn't wake up one morning at six, um, at age six and say, you know, I think I'll have ADHD for the rest of my life. Uh, and it didn't happen because some you fell off your, your bed when you were sleeping. It's highly genetic. You didn't, you didn't decide to have ADHD. It's important to understand it's what you have. It's not who you are. And that issue is a, a theme throughout ADHD treatment. It's especially true for those who were diagnosed later in life uh, and had never considered that they had ADHD, but they always knew there was something wrong. It's a tremendous relief to get a diagnosis and get treatment and understand there's a difference between what you have and who you are. So I hope that answers that question as comprehensively as possible. It takes me about 90 minutes to go through an evaluation. There are also some ADHD symptom checklists that I use both for childhood recollection of symptoms and the presentation in adulthood. Now, let me just mention, and I'm sorry I speak in paragraphs, um, when I administer the self-checklist for adult ADHD, if you're 75 years old, I'm going to ask you to fill this out based on how you were in your 40s. Because if you fill it out based on how you are now, I won't be able to separate out age-related issues, perimenopausal issues, medical issues, all of which contribute to your ADHD or your cognitive symptoms. I want to know if you had those cognitive symptoms in your 40s. And if you had them in your 40s, then it's a continuation of those symptoms. If you didn't have them in your 40s, and these are symptoms that just started in the last months or last few years, then you don't have ADHD. You have something else that I have to consider.